Okay, so it looks like you guys wanted to do some audio visualization stuff. So today we're going to be making this. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open your favorite text editor. Then go ahead and make a new folder anywhere you want and call it whatever you want. Call it wallpaper. Open that guy up and we're going to make two files. And I'll just do that in here because it's easier. So one is going to be, let's see if I go to wallpaper, first one is going to be project.json close and the next one is going to be index.html just move my mic okay so two two files in the folder there we go uh, project.json is going to describe what our project actually is so wallpaper engine knows so we're going to start off with saying here's an object here's some stuff is all that means uh, going to tell it the type of wallpaper we are it's a web wallpaper and we're going to point it to our index.html. Uh, yes, the file names are important. And you can add a description here if you want. I don't really care. The important part is we go to the general stuff that it needs to know. And we want to say that it supports audio processing, if I've spelled that correctly. Uh, all right, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. We're going to say yes, we do. So I save it, and you should have exactly this. Supports audio processing being the most important alongside the file. Let's go ahead and write that down, and we'll cruise over to the index.html. And here is the actual page. So what I'm going to do is bootstrap this guy a little bit, and then, uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll just write it by hand. I'll say, oops type HTML, you gotta stream it, otherwise it doesn't listen to you. HTML. Okay, so we're saying here's the HTML page, and it has a head, which is stuff that uh, doesn't show up, but that we tell to the computer. We have a body, which is the actual stuff that shows up. Now, to make sure that this is working, I'm gonna just say hello in the body. And this is the part that should show up on the page. Save that guy, open wallpaper engine, go to open file, mine breaks, don't worry about that. Find your folder, index.html, boom, open. Hello. One step of the way there. Shrink that back down and now we can really get to get to the stuff that we care about. So in our head, uh, let's be good citizens and add a title. Uh, let's just say that's our wallpaper. It doesn't really matter, but it makes me feel better. Helps me sleep at night. Okay. So we are going to be writing some JavaScript. Uh, that's how we're going to actually perform all the logic needed to happen here. So what we're going to do is wait for the actual page to load. And we'll say that we get nothing back from that. That's what the underscore means. And then we do something, which is what the arrow means. Uh, we're going to, let's see. I did this a few minutes ago, so I'm just copying, really. Uh, we're going to get some audio at some point, so I'm just going to store that in a list, an array, it's called. And we're also going to describe what it means to be one of those visualization bars. We're going to say that it has a width that's directly related to the browser, minus a magic number that you'll see in a second. Height is going to be 100 pixels, and padding, hey, look, there's that 8. Okay, great. So that's what it means to be a bar. You have a width, you have a height, and you have a padding or space between you and all the other bars. All right, now we're going to go ahead and draw. Uh, we need something to draw on, so I'm going to make a canvas. And then we're going to get the context of that canvas. And we're drawing in 2D. All right. Next thing we need to do, we need to make the canvas fill up the screen. So, 
canvas.width is going to be the same as the width of the window, or in this case, our whole screen. Canvas.height is, you guessed it, inner height. Bam. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is actually put it in the body. So we're going to say document body. That's this little guy. Uh, append the canvas. So take the canvas, put it right in here so we can see it. Remember, that's how we got the hello up there. Okay. Uh, just to test it, I'm going to go ahead and draw a little square. So let's say uh, context.fill rect. Uh, zero for the x, zero for the y, uh, and width and height of 100 pixels. If we save that, cruise over to Wallpaper Engine. There you go. And if you want to see it update, just choose a different wallpaper, go back to yours, it'll update, it'll read the file again, thankfully. So it's working if you see this little black square. If it's not, make sure you have all of this correct. Every single piece, all of it's important, including the project JSON and the names. Okay, so if you've got that working, you can remove this little line because we're not going to need it. Uh, what we are going to need, though, is to tell the computer that we want to get the audio because we need to get it somehow. Uh, so we're going to use this little guy window.wallpaper register audio listener it's a mouthful and we're going to give it our own listener which really is just a function and it's going to take an array of things so listener means we take an array and we do something with it and hey I'm going to say that's our audio our audio is the array um, this array is going to look like a whole list of numbers between 0 and 1 so 0. Point something and uh, zero dot blah 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 and so on uh, that's all it's going to be next we need to actually draw things so we'll say we'll make a draw function that takes nothing and what are we going to do well let's, let's take our context uh, remember that's our 2d drawing context on the screen which lets us actually draw stuff and we need to actually clear it before we do anything because uh, if there's stuff there don't want anything there. So we're going to start at the top, 0x and 0y, and we'll say the clear until, like for the width, until you get to the inner width, and for the height, you guessed it, inner height. Great, now we're going to go through every piece of our audio and draw that out as a bar. Okay, so to do that, we'll say for, take an index and in each part of the audio of everything in the audio. So it's going to tell me the position as i. i is the position in this list, whether it's the first or second or third and so on. Uh, part is the actual data. So we'll go ahead and calculate the x position of this bar that we're going to create. Uh, and that's going to be related to the index, or where it is, times the width, plus, doing a little bit of math here, the index plus one times bar dot padding uh, minus or dot padding divided by 2. You could probably do this another way, but hey, I am lazy. And we're going to offset it. it's y by 4, so it'll just be 4 pixels off the top of the screen. I thought that looked nice. Great. Now we're going to actually draw our bar, our rectangle. Uh, it's going to take an x, a y, and the width, and r dot height times whatever the actual data is. Remember, this is a number between 0 and 1. So if we multiply that by our height, we'll get a partial height, uh, however tall it's supposed to be, depending on the data. Great. And the last thing we need to do is actually run this. So uh, going to first go down here. Nope. Let me just draw. Now what would happen if we just ran it like this is we would say draw. Okay, got it, clear stuff take the audio, do the thing, and that's it. It only does it once. So instead, we're going to remind it that the next time it has an animatable frame, next time it's going to draw, you're going to run our function again. You're going to draw. So whenever you can, do it. OK, that's it. I'm going to save it, flip it back and forth. You'll see nothing at first. And then So that's great, but we have a gross little scroll bar over here, and the colors are a little weird, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that up right now. So 
all we're gonna do is add a little bit of CSS. I'm gonna go back to the top, add a new style section, and we're going to target HTML in the body and set the width properly. That's why the scroll bar comes up. Uh, there's also a little bit of gap that we don't want by default and ensure that that scroll bar will never show up. Set a nice black background, which means these guys can't be black anymore. So go to your draw function and say context.fill style is going to be that color, which is white. Come back over here, boom. Now it's beautiful color. There you go.